Step 2, add a thin coat of paint in any color and I choose a white acrylic paint from Van Blijswijk. Three, add texture paste with spatula or credit card. And I'm using the liquid text modeling paste with the stencil of my favorite things, the small brick wall. Step four, add paint or color spritz and I'm using a homemade acrylic spray and a spray um, by a ranger, the Dilutions Ink Spray, the Pomegranate Seed. And I'm spraying some water to make it drip and run a bit. Then I'm going to switch step 5 with step 7. Uh, step 5 is add travel ticket ephemera, which are my uh, post stamps. And step 7 is add washi tape fragments and I wanted uh, to add them first. So I'm using two different kinds of uh, washi tape which I torn in small strips and then add them to the page. And then I am going to add the travel ticket ephemera, which are post stamps from different countries, which I picked in a, in a a pink color I had a lot to choose from so I'm deciding here with where to put those uh, stamps and I'm gluing them down with a tacky glue I have to say this page didn't turn out to be my favorite or anything close to that uh, I find it very difficult and in the end I I thought the page was way too busy and I did start it again already uh, so this was quite a tough one it wasn't it isn't all that bad because I kept it I left it it's in my book and I recorded it but it isn't one of my favorite, that's for sure. I find it way too busy and I think that's because of the post stamps because they had quite busy uh, images on them. Um, I'm also using, uh, adding a little chipboard wooden frame, uh, which is from um, craft sensations, the wooden ornaments and I gessoed it with a heavy gesso from Art Basics and I'm gluing it down with the golden matte medium. I also uh, inked the edges with an archival ink, um, the color sepia, that is the same uh, ink I used to ink the edges of the stamps and now because I'm thinking that little frame uh, is hardly uh, showing uh, I added to uh, uh, a bright color which was a very old acrylic paint I had from Decor Finn. Uh, six is make marks with using uh, bubble wrap And I am using an Americana acrylic paint, uh, that's the peaches and cream. And I'm also um, 
doing the same thing with the uh, pink color from Decor Fin. And here is when I think my page is so busy. Uh, uh, step 7 was the washi tape and I already did that and step 8 add a vocal quote phrase or journaling and I have a very tiny pieces of paper that says dare to dream which I'm going to glue down in the center of that little frame and again I am using the archival ink sepia to uh, ink the edges and I'm gluing this down with a glue stick Step 9, add stamped image in ink or paint and I'm using my Stazon Yet Black ink pad uh, with some script uh, stamps which had no brand name on it. And the last step, create border or frame around your page. And again I am using the Yet Black ink to ink my uh, the edges of my page. I am also going in with a charcoal pencil to uh, smudge the edge on the left where the rings are from the book. and do some doodling around the edges with a uh, gel pen, black gel pen. And that's about it for my page, as I said, not really my favorite, but I guess it's okay and therefore I decided to show it to you. So hope you enjoyed watching the process. Um, Remember to check out the description box below because I will add some links there to Mike Deacon and his mission inspirations and also the Facebook group. Uh, oh, I do hear some splattering with black and white acrylic paint as the final last step. So yeah, I hope you uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and comment if you like or have any questions and i hope to see you next time bye bye